so welcome back everybody and we've got the winners final here between Hut and Gilv in the Australian AOE4 Championship 2022 Season 2. So we've got our winner of Season 1 here on his Rus in the blue trunks. We have Hut up against Gilv in the orange trunks on the French and I'll just swap our uh, camera over. So Gilv actually going to go on the mill and go for an early uh, wheelbarrow, I'd suspect. While hut, early standard hunting cabin, lumber cabin and house, pretty much right next to one another. So the beauty of this, you get that third scout trained up without locking up your village production, and you're going to get enough gold generation out of this that it'll pay for itself three or four times over. Even, you know, in a 20 minute game. The reason why you don't see Rus players really investing in heaps of these is that not only is the gold cap been brought down from 500 gold to 250, and I believe it was originally uncapped, um, you know, it does slow down your build by 100 wood at a time because these are actually twice the price of a mill. And then in saying that, French eco structures are half that price again, so, you know, that's going to cost four times as much for Hut to invest in those as it will for Guild to invest in mills. And they actually do take longer to build than a regular uh, mill, I believe. I might be wrong on that. I've actually got the same health as a regular mill too, so... Hut. And take out these deer. We saw Gilv already kill the deer just to deny that gold bounty. And so, what are we going to see here? I wonder if Gilv's going to try and go for a second TC off the back of, say, horseman aggression, or if Hut's going to look at doing that. Because um, the way it's easier to try and sneak out that second town center if you're not really going to worry about getting that super quick early night or getting multiple early nights. Um, certainly makes that second TC transition easier. Maybe not so much a worry for our Rus player as such, because uh, Hut going to be able to use the Golden Gate to shift his resources as he needs and do it profitably. Whereas Gilf or anyone on any other Civ that's not Rus sort of doesn't get the opportunity to simultaneously restructure their eco after it's been gathered, while also, you know, not incurring any cost. Actually getting a slight benefit out of it. The very smart of Hut. He's actually got his other two scouts here at the same time, thankfully. So it means it's very easy to clean up these four wolves, and his gold income has just skyrocketed. And the beauty of that is, is not only does he generate a little bit of free gold, he's got that quicker food gathering um, from all sources of food but particularly on the hunt which is already the fastest food gathering source um, he doesn't necessarily have to go for survival techniques because he gets two-thirds of it for free but on top of that if he does he's got unmatched food gather rate um, full stop so Gilv is going to finish up the school of camp and it's going to be a lot slower than the golden gate and I mean the Rus player can sort of afford to invest this many vills on it because you don't have to worry so much about gold gathering at this point and hut already has taken wheelbarrow gilves already taken it too so the beauty is everyone's gathering it's a little bit better off here haven't got to drop off as quickly and the villagers themselves run faster but three scouts gilves not really wanting to muck around with the micro game it's just gonna let Hut push him off the lump the mining camp for now so Gilv's got enough for the first night, and then you can really just worry about trying to get on one of these hunts to just deny Hut the chance to actually make use of that insane Rus food gathering. Oh, he's bringing five fills, so he might just be going for a tower. Or is he going to try and go for the boar with only five fills? Which, I mean, does leave him free to gather more at home. So he's set up to get that 
uh, knight straight away, although he's only going to go for a horseman. He's going to go on the stone. We've got a barracks here. All ready for hut, so he's going to try and help out his vils as well. So both of our players are going to get on a boar here, and only do so with five vils. Actually, no, Hut's bringing in another three. I guess it sort of makes sense for non-Rus, because um, as long as you can bring a scout to tank, um, you're going to get it just in time. And you can only fit five vils in the outpost, whereas Rus can fit eight. So Hut didn't actually bother taking the damage on the scout, he just took it on the spearman, but... At the same time, he gets a lot more out of gathering from the boar. And it's a perfect spot for his second town center. Whereas Gilv, second TC, is still a little while away. So his hunt gathering point is going to be a little bit harder to control for the time being. It's probably equally as good. Like, they've both got a relic and a gold mine, a stone's throw away from this boar. And it's funny that Huts is actually quite a bit closer to his opponent. Oh, and Gil very lucky to get out with the scout there. Well, at the same time, a couple of horsemen building up now. So actually sent a third one. Maybe oh, actually, yeah, he's got a third one, but he isn't sending any more. Because I think he realizes he's going to have to start clearing spearmen out before he can really make use of them. But they are going to mean that he can chase the scouts around the map. The moment Hut doesn't bring the spears with them, and if he does, you know, he doesn't really get the huge benefit of having eyes all over his opponent's base for minimal population. So, and yeah, Gilv can try and give Hut the runaround early on here while he gets... Enough archers to clear out the spears, but at the same time, looks like Hut transitioning to the stables himself, so neither player is really saving up a huge amount at the moment. I don't think anyone's going to go for a quick age 3. They're looking to just take fights at the moment. But Hut really has just got villagers queued up at the moment. There we go, he's going for double knights. So Gil, for the time being, not really adding any more. Just probably sort of waiting to see what Hut's doing. Gil is actually starting to bank up a little bit here. Oh, there we go. He's going for the second town center. So he's just making sure he had the wood to do so. He has got a second stables now, but he is holding off on producing any horsemen at the moment. He hasn't quite got any gold eco just yet, so he's not making any knights just yet. So there's one villager here, but a drop-off facility is gone, so... Nice timing there on the town centre, finishing up as he's just hitting his pop cap. There we go, he's now adding the mining camp. Very nice stuff. And now Hut is the one with the map control because he's invested in knights first out of the two of them before they've gone to Castle Age, so it does give him the map control advantage. And on top of that, he does have the greater spearman count. So right now, it's a harder fight for Gilv, I think. He's got to try and really micro his range well and his horsemen. But saying that, there's no healing on early knights for our Rus player. Whereas Royal Knights, they've got access to chivalry. They're going to get that health regen eventually. So, ranges being added here for Hut. In fact, he's adding a third range already. So he's up to three ranges, two stables and one racks. Well, Gilv has the two ranges, two stables. 
at the moment. It's a hard... Really booming ahead on the Rus here. Adding that blacksmith as well. Guild a little bit of resources in the bank, so he could probably be producing a bit more at the moment. And I do think possibly sneaking in some earlier horsemen might have been a good idea, because if Hutt's really going to make use of these three rangers, and I'm sure he eventually will. Ah, oh, Hutt's going to castle. Actually, horsemen are even better than uh, knights, because the crossbowmen are going to be a hard counter against the knights, while the horsemen are actually going to be a great counter unit against the crossbows. So they are an anti-armor specialist. They actually do have slightly less range than the regular archers. At slightly more cost, so... Gil following up with a couple of knights instead of trying to just get more bowmen and horsemen out. This might actually really play into Hut's favour here on the next fight. He's going all the way up to four rangers. He's getting ranged armour and damage. A small troop here of knights and spears. Guild walling off. I do like this because it really limits any chance of being pressured by Hut around the back of his base or at his woodline. But at the same time, it does incur the cost of having to place it down. Well, Hut is doing the same with his walling up. So, H3 for Hut. He's actually going Trade House, which we for a while weren't really seeing a lot of, but. The beauty of it is you don't really have to worry about managing uh, control on the relics so so much. And, you know, it really means that you're getting the most out of your passive generation. Hunt actually going to go for mass horse archer. So Guild actually doesn't have anything in the way of spears, so these horse archers are going to have to get value out of really effective run bites, and Guild's doing a good job of walling himself in to try and prevent that, but saying that, sniping a villager there. Really just worrying about horse archers and eco techs now. He's adding in his feudal edge eco food and wood tech there. It looks like Gilf backing out because he knows it's not really worth staying for that 300 food if he's going to lose those four villages. Hut's going to start walling in segments of the map, make it very hard for Gilf to try and move out and get relics and take map control now. Horse archers now being used to try and deny this gathering here for Gilf. So they're going to catch out the villagers, be able to pick them off. And Gilf. It's going to be a struggle to get on food now because he's really going to try and get on this berries um, and then try and re wall up around it and this hunt maybe. So hunt up to 90 pop. Gilf 184, so army size wise. And he has taken his age 3 now, he's got Guild Hall, which is producing food, the default production, but for the moment he probably wants to leave it on that before he switches it to uh, wood. Because eventually he is going to run out of all this wood on the map. Um, so it is nice to have wood or gold um, as the generated resource. Because I am pretty sure it generates them evenly, so... So for now, Gil playing quite defensively. Hut's now added a monastery so he can get those relics anyway. Um, he's paying a little bit more for his warrior monks. But 
the same time, he's generating enough gold to justify it. Once he stops his Warrior Monk production, you know, and the fact that he only just started it, um, the high trade house is really going to actually pay a big dividend, I think, for him. Gilf catching out a horse archer. At the same time, some of his knights are being caught out. Hut wanting to back off because he's mostly just got horse archers and knights at the moment. Going to need to add a couple of spears and maybe even bring a warrior monk into the fight to really make sure he, it goes his way. But at the same time, Gilf adding some more knights. Just cut range production for the moment. Or maybe he just hasn't got the... No, he does have the resources he needs. He's just trying to wall himself off. Someone was getting a relic there, I saw. So Hut bringing one home. He's already brought one home as well. Gilv. Got his monastery now, but... Didn't really manage to secure anything. And they got this one to try and take easily. And I think those knights that were sneaking around were to try and defend it. it might have been best off trying to delete one segment of wall, sending the knights through and maybe his own uh, monk. To grab the relic safely and then bring it back and then chuck the wall back up. So Guild now trying to wall off. This game's getting. A bit passive now. He's just adding to their armies. A huge horse archer count there for Hut for the moment. Guild's now going to add some ARBs. So these guys, like a uh, improved crossbow unit. Guild's trying to deny the vision and pick off some free units here. Hut is almost about to send those other guys there. He must have forgotten about that rally point. Or just been trying to, yeah, scout out what Guild was attempting to do from there. So Hut managing to bring back pretty much all, oh, yeah, all the relics. And on top of that, he has the high trade house. So he's got 400 gold gen, plus another 270, 280 over here. So it's pretty big if you think about it. But does he really even have to have any gold gatherers? Only nine. In fact, he probably put those on wood or food at the moment, considering his bank. So Hut, gonna start trying to take sacreds with these quick warrior monks. He's trying to wall off as well. Gilv, I'm going to try and deny being cut off from this midsection. Because, I mean, well, at the same time, he's having to back off now. Try and take the fight against the horse archers. But he does actually have one of the sacred sites under his control at the moment. But I think Hut just has a little bit too much here for Gilv to be sticking around. He does have the right units, but not quite enough ranged here. And on top of that, the spears have free reign on the cavalry, so Gilf, a rough fight there, probably didn't need to take it, he was down by about 20 pop going into it, he walks away being about 40 pop down, and Hut going to be getting another 200 gold gen per minute, so he's up to, yeah, we get 500, 780, 980 gold, and so Hut is getting nearly a thousand gold per minute for free at the moment. Gil's going to have to try and get a bit of value out of these knights without really dropping any, and on top of that he's going to have to be very careful that Hut can't just bulldoze through his base from here. So he's trying to muster up as much of a force as he can, he's evacuating these vills. So out of the range of that keep. Hut going to take out this expansion town center. Ooh, and the knights no longer being microed around the base. 
stopping and taking the fight being killed by the spearman so it's another blow for Gilf he's trying to defend here on his doorstep he does again have the right units but the archers cut off from the bulk of the spears of course archers are focusing down the archers now it's just a little bit too much there for Hope Gilf gonna have to try and retreat further and further back he's got the stone to go for a, another pair of town centers he hasn't got quite enough to go for a keep which I think is what he was probably going for to try and put a keep over here or over here but that's managed to get in just in time so Gilf trying to defend because it's all the line this is best of one here in the winners final the loser will be sent back to the losers back to face Nunu for the uh, third place game I believe Well, the winner will progress through to the grand final at this stage. I think that may be hot because Gilf unable to keep gathering any food through all this. He's pushed off the bulk of his uh, farms at the moment. Oh, and Hutt getting another nasty keep on his opponent's uh, doorstep there. And on top of that, it's really denying the berries. Gilf trying to get back on the 300 food down there just to get what he can out of the map. Hut going to Imperial, he's adding another keep. And GG. Gilbs forced to tap out because he's just fallen too far behind. And Hut goes through to the grand final.